What is up guys? Twiggy here and we are back with another Let's Play um, Persona 3 in the last part I was guys in a cliffhanger. Um, apparently someone, something, it has um, started attacking the dorm which Akihiko brought over. So now Yukari went up, ran upstairs to wake us up so let's see what, so let's see what happens. We should be safe now. Takeba, do you read me? Yes, I hear you. Be careful, there's more than one enemy. The one we're fighting isn't the one Akihiko saw. What? <laughs> Let's pull back. Do we have any choice but to go further up? <sighs> I think we're okay for now. Wait.
<gasps> what on earth is that? Is it over? Uh. Finally, we get into the battle too, so. Well, we can't really do much here, so I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna. So the things I do turn to the uh, I could use this to luck plus the eye skill. Are you okay? Come on! Say something! Are you alright? Can you hear me? Please! Answer me! It's so nice to see you again. You became unconscious after awakening to your power. It's nothing to worry about, though. So just relax. By the way, I see that it was Orpheus that heeded your calling. That power is called a persona. It is a manifestation of your psyche. It may take some time to fully comprehend. A persona is a facet of your personality that surfaces as you react to external stimuli. You can think of it as a mask that protects you as you brave many hardships. That being said, your power is still weak. When you use your persona ability, you must channel your inner strength. The ability evolves as you develop your social links, your emotional ties with others. The stronger your social links, the more powerful your persona ability. Please remember that. Now then, time marches on in your world. I shouldn't keep you here any longer. Next time we meet, you will come here of your own accord. Until then, farewell. You're awake. Um, uh, how do you feel? Where am I? Thank goodness you finally came too. How much sleep do you need? It's been a whole week. I was so worried about you. Oh yeah, this is Tatsumi Memorial Hospital. It's just a short walk from the station. The doctor couldn't find anything wrong with you. He said you were just exhausted. But you kept sleeping and sleeping. You know how worried I was? Um, I'm sorry I couldn't do anything. Even though I was supposed to protect you, I... But your power, it was amazing. The power you used, we call it Persona. 
And those creatures you defeated are shadows. Our enemy. We'll explain everything later. I'm sorry I didn't tell you before. I, uh... I wanted to tell you that I'm sort of like you. My dad died in an accident when I was little. My mom and I aren't exactly on good terms. You're all alone too, right? To be honest, I already know about your past. But it didn't seem fair, so I wanted you to know about mine. It was back in 99. There was a big explosion in the area. Supposedly, my dad died in the blast. But nobody really knows what happened. He was working in a lab run by the Kirijo group. So, I'm hoping that if I stick around long enough, I'll find out something. That's why I'm going to Gekukan High, and why I was there when this happened to you. Of course, I panicked and wasn't much help. It was my first time fighting them too. I'm sorry. You wouldn't have to go through all this if I wasn't such a coward. Thanks. But still. Here I am telling you all this the minute you wake up. While I was waiting, I thought to myself, I've been hiding so many things from him. As soon as he wakes up, I'll tell him the truth. So, thanks for listening. I've been wanting to share that story with someone for a long time. All right, I'm gonna get going. I'll let the others know you woke up. Take it easy, okay? Be a good patient. And don't hesitate to call the nurse. I'm sure she'll take good care of you. Bye! Doing pretty well. Not really. Wow. Even after all that rap is in the social wall. Hey, sorry to add it to your worries, but good piece. Good piece wants to talk to you today. Come to the fourth floor of the dorm dorm dorm. Come to the fourth floor of the dorm after school today. Don't forget. Well, looks like we're gonna be That's enough, mammoths. I don't see the big deal. They're just huge elephants. And that wraps it up for the Stone Age. <sighs> I'm tired of lessons about stone. I'd rather talk about the Sengoku era. Japanese history is not that exciting until then. So I'm paid to do this, so I gotta. It's tough being an adult. Next is the Jomon period. When do the samurai get their day in the sun? I'll just ask a question at random and call it a day. Hmm, hey Junpei, what was the style of the houses in the Jomon period called? Oh, how was I supposed to know about something way back then? Wait, Hayato, what the heck is he talking about? Mud huts. That's correct. Mud huts were built by digging a hole in the ground and supporting the roof. It's no use. I can't get interested. Ugh. I want to get to the age of katanas. Everything else is so dull. Hey, I answered correct, and I don't get any credit? <laughs> oh well, thanks Hayato. Here your classmates whispering. I told, told Junpei the answer. He's really smart. You became slightly more popular. Your China has increased. It seems you'll be discussing something important today in the dorms. You decided to go home early. Polonia Mall. Where the hell am I supposed to find that old that, that bald old man in the freaking Whatever, I'll talk about it later. The shopping mall is filled with people coming and going.
There's no one in the lounge. Cool, so let's go to the fourth floor. And I can actually save! Uh, let's keep going. I guess we're good. I think by the time we finish this conversation on the top, on the fourth floor, I think we'll, be, we'll hit the 20 minute mark. So, let's go ahead and check it out. See what's going on. Oh, there you are. Ah, there you are. I'm glad that you're okay. The reason I asked you here is because I needed to talk to you. Please, have a seat. Oh, before that. I believe I mentioned him earlier, but this is Akihiko. How you doing? Okay, let me start off by asking you this. Would you believe me if I said that a day consists of more than 24 hours? <laughs> I'm not surprised by your reaction. However, you've already experienced this truth firsthand. Do you remember the night you came here? You had to have noticed the signs. The street lights went out, nothing was working, there were coffins everywhere. Didn't it feel like you were in a different time? That's the dark hour, a time period hidden between one day and the next. I know how you feel. Who would believe such a story? But the dark hour occurs each night, right at midnight. It'll happen tonight and every night to come. Normal people don't realize it since they're all sleeping inside their coffins. <laughs> but... That's not what makes the Dark Hour so interesting. You saw those creatures. We call them shadows. They only appear during the Dark Hour and attack anyone not in a coffin. It's our job to defeat them. Sounds exciting, huh? Akihiko, why are you always like that? You just got hurt the other day. Now, now. He does his work well. Long story short, we're the Specialized Extracurricular Execution Squad, C's for short. On paper, we're classified as a school club, but in reality, this group is dedicated to defeating the shadows. Mitsuru is the leader. I'm the club advisor. A shadow feeds on the mind of its prey. The victim becomes a living corpse. They're responsible for most of the incidents on the news, if not all of them. Although rare, there are those who can function during the dark hour. Some may even awaken to a power that enables them to fight the shadows. That's Persona, the power you used the other night. The shadows can only be defeated by Persona users. Which means it's all up to you guys. I'm glad you're quick to understand. What he's trying to say is, we want you to join us. We've prepared an evoker for you. We'd like you to lend us your strength. I was afraid you'd say no. Welcome aboard. Thank you so much. I'm really glad. Oh, I almost forgot. About your room assignment. Why don't you just stay here, in your current room? I don't know what the holdup is, but I guess it worked out in the end. <laughs> holdup? Wasn't that... Oh, never mind. It doesn't matter anymore. A mysterious something. Thou shalt have our blessings when you thou choosest to create a persona of the cool arcana. You have established a new social link. Feel your inner strength glow, grow, growing. 
Do we call that Igor's what? with you. Soon the end will come. I remembered, so I thought I should tell you. The end of everything. But to be honest, I don't really know what it is. Oh, looks like you've awakened to your power. And an unusual power it is. A power that takes many forms yet is bound by none. It may prove to be your salvation, depending on where you end up. Do you remember when we first met? I expect you to honor your commitment. I'll be watching you, even if you forget about me. Okay then, see you later. What's this all about? There's someone I want to introduce. Hey, hurry up. Hold your horses. This is freaking heavy. <laughs> Junpei? Why is he here? Wait, don't tell me. This is Junpei Iori from Class 2F. He'll be staying here as of today. <laughs> What's up? He's staying here? You've got to be kidding me! I bumped into him the other night. He has the potential, but he just awakened to it recently. I told him about us, and he agreed to help. You have the potential? <laughs> For real? He found me crying like a baby at the convenience store, surrounded by a bunch of coffins. I don't remember much, but... Man, that's embarrassing. He said that's, you know, completely normal in the beginning. Like being confused and not remembering anything. Did you guys know that? Didn't he tell you? Man, every Persona user should know that. But man, I was shocked to find out about you guys. I had no idea. I'm glad I'm not the only one. It could get kind of lonely, you know? I'll bet you're stoked too, right? Having me join? Huh? Uh, yeah. Well, enough with the introductions. I think we're about ready. Oh, <laughs> we're gonna go do something? Sweetness! With this many people, we can start exploring that place. You mean... Tartarus? Tartarus? What's that? Sounds like toothpaste. We believe we can find the reason for the dark hour there. I hope so. The chairman will give us the details tomorrow night, so be ready. Good morning, I'm always so drafty on Monday morning. Yeah, me too. If you first, the only thing you can do is sleep through the first period. Wait, tomorrow is at least when we have morning assembly. I don't think I'm too lazy for that. I'll just pretend I'm just doing that. It's so much fun. I 
who's gonna fall asleep in there. Can I have a minute? Come to the lounge when you get back to the dorm. I have something to tell everyone. Oh, are we having that talk? I'll save the details for later. See you there. Wow, she didn't waste any time leaving. She's probably busy with things like student council, unlike us. Ooh, Yucatan. Do I sense some hostility? Well, it's not that I don't like her. She's just... Okay, everybody's here. I'd like your undivided attention. For a long time, Mitsuru and Akihiko were the only Persona users we had. But that number recently jumped to five. Therefore, starting tonight at 12 a.m., I'd like to commence the exploration of Tartarus. Sorry, I asked this yesterday, but what's this Tartarus thing again? You haven't seen it, Junpei? Hmm? It's no surprise, since it only appears during the dark hour. The dark hour? Just like the shadows. Interesting, huh? And it's the perfect place for us to train. You can think of it as a shadow nest. Whoa! Their nest, huh? But, Senpai, what about your injury? Since Akihiko hasn't fully recovered yet, He'll only come as far as the entrance. Yeah, I know. Well, I'm sure he won't complain, as long as you don't go too far in. Since we're dealing with shadows, Tartarus isn't something we can avoid. Relax, I've got your backs. I'm not so sure about this. What about you, Mr. Chairman? I'll stay here. As you know, I can't summon a persona. This is it? This is the place? Why here? Just wait a few minutes. It's almost midnight. Tartarus, the labyrinth that reveals itself during the dark hour. Labyrinth? What are you talking about? What happened to our school? Once the dark hour passes, everything returns to normal. This is the nest you were talking about? But why? Why'd our school turn into a giant tower? You don't know either? No. I'm sure it's complicated. 
Who cares, anyway? It's not like it would change our minds about fighting. Well, maybe now we'll find out. Mitsuru and I have only gone in to take a peek. This'll be our first time exploring it. Exciting, isn't it? There has to be some sort of clue in here about the Dark Hour. Akihiko, I respect your enthusiasm, but you won't be accompanying us today. I know. You don't have to remind me. just as cool on the inside. But it sure is creepy. This is only the entrance. The labyrinth lies beyond the doorway at the top of the stairs. First we'll have you three get a feel for this place. Why don't you go have a look around? What? By ourselves? We're not asking you to go very far. And I'll be feeding you information from here. So you two didn't plan on coming in the first place? That's right. We're also going to appoint a leader to make any necessary decisions. For real? One of us? Oh, oh, me, 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 pick me! Uh, you're in charge. But wait, wait, why him? He doesn't look like a leader. But he has fought them before. Seriously? That's true, but there's another reason. You two. Can you summon your persona without any difficulties like he can? Yeah, of course I can. I think so. These are shadows we're talking about here. Without your persona, you're screwed. I'm aware of that. for you. The time has come for you to wield your power. The tower that you are about to venture into. How did it come to be? For what purpose does it exist? Uh, regrettably, you are not yet capable of answering these questions. That is why you must be made aware of the nature of your power. Your power is unique. It's like the number zero. It's empty, but at the same time holds infinite possibilities. You, my boy, are able to possess multiple personas and summon them as needed. And when you have defeated your enemies, you will see the faces of possibility before you. There may be times when they are difficult to grasp, but do not fear. Seize what you have earned. Your power will grow accordingly. Be sure to keep that in mind. My spare time will soon be scarce. But please, come again of your own accord. I'll tell you then about my true role, the manner in which I can best assist you. Until then, farewell. Are you all right? Yeah, what's up? You look like a zombie. Don't tell me you just dozed off. You're like that coach who fell asleep during the championship game. Come on, man. You're supposed to be our leader. <laughs> Cut him some slack. If nothing's wrong, then let's get going.
you can check your own status by pressing the triangle button. Also, you can save your progress by accessing the clock to the left of the entrance. And we're gonna go and end it off here because we are already way past the limit. And uh, way past the limit. And way past the limit, and it's in a half hour episode. So now we can, act, but now we can actually access our status, and as you can see, I'm level 72 with 4 million yen. But anyways, we're gonna go ahead and end it off here. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next one.